Welcome to Juniper Network's Learning Byte. My name is Maru Fionis and I'm a lab architect within Juniper Education Services lab team. In this Learning Byte, I'll be talking about managing Juno's devices using REST API. So Juno's OS REST API is a representational state transfer interface that enables users to securely connect to Juno's devices and execute remote procedure calls. Juno's devices also comes up with a REST API Explorer which can be configured which enables users to conveniently experiment with any of the REST APIs. Most programming languages these days support REST API integration. So this allows programmers to easily integrate with existing applications without learning Juno CLI. Now let's talk about some of the Juno's REST API facts. A routing, switching, or security device running Juno's OS release 14.2 or later is required. Compatibility with KFX 5100 switches is limited to Juno's OS release 16.1 or later. And the Juno's REST API service is disabled by default for security reason, but it can be configured easily from the system services hierarchy within Juno's. Okay? And REST API service supports both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. The default port for HTTP is uh, 3000 and for HTTPS is 3443 but this can be changed if needed. Juno's REST API supports both GET and POST calls. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to configure the basic REST API service within Juno's OS. For this demonstration, I'll be using a VMX device, VM actually. So let me go back to my demo screen. Okay, so I am connected to a remote bastion host, uh, which is running a CentOS server. And I'm gonna, which allows me to connect to the uh, Juno's device that I'll be configuring with REST API. So let me SSH to the Juno's device first. I'm gonna be logging with my lab account for testing. I'm gonna run first the show, show configuration system hierarchy. Okay, so you can see on the services there is nothing configured for REST API at this point. So I would not be able to connect to the Juno's device with any uh, REST API. Okay, should not connect. Okay, so let me try configuring it now. I'm gonna go to the configuration mode and I'm gonna write set system services, REST API, HTTP. Let me do HTTP first and then we, I will show you HTTPS as well. That will configure this, this VM, the VMX uh, VM to uh, allow running REST API calls over HTTP, which will port, uh, port uh, 3000. So let me try my browser here. I will still not be able to connect uh, because I didn't enable the Explorer. So let me try configure the Explorer, set system services, REST. Enable Explorer, which basically allows me to play with the REST APIs through the browser. So now that I have it configured, I should be able to connect to the REST API Explorer here. And there you go. So by default, it, it, it is default to the get uh, method and XML. So you can change the output method uh, as you need. So let me run a test. So I'm gonna, let, let's say I wanna know the uh, Juno's version that the VMX is running through REST API. And so it all already give you a default example here. So I'm gonna say get software information. Let's see if I can uh, run it now. Most likely I will get an error because I didn't put any username and password, but you just know how it looks like. So uh, now it asks me for my password. And uh, let me, I can enter it here, but I can do it here as well. Lab. So now I got connected and I got a response which contains the, uh, the Juno's version of this VMX and all the other details, all the packages that got installed. So in this case, I'm running 70.1 or 1.8. I can, one nice thing about this uh, Explorer as well, it also give me an example curl request, which can be uh, used to run it from a CLI. So if I wanted to 
say I have a bash script or some sort of Python script or some other program that doesn't have REST API configured, I can just copy and I need to grab say a lot of device, uh, you know, uh, Juno's version through uh, through some script. I could actually copy this uh, command and just change the IP address or the host name of the device that I was running and kind of loop through uh, a list of devices if I need to. So I'm going to show you that as well here. I'm going to right click and copy and let me try running that uh, on a different tab. Okay, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger for you so that you can see. So I can run the same commands and it should give me the data that I need, right? So that's that's pretty handy. There are other other REST API Explorer that you can use, uh, you know, such as Postman that will give you example code for Python and other other tools if you need to. But again, I can change it to something like uh, JSON. Say, for example, if my program uh, needs JSON output, I can also do that. Submit. You know, get the data in JSON format. Same thing goes for text format. Plain text. Plain text information. So uh, this is basically an example of the REST API inside Junos. If I want, I can also configure as a, a for security reason in a production system, you might want to configure HTTPS, which can be done easily here as well. So you can go back here in your configuration mode and I can say set system services uh, REST HTTPS, okay. And I'm gonna say server certificate. I'm let's do a self-signed certificate, and then rest with the cert, commit and quit, and I can initiate a HTTPS session on port 3443, which is the default port for HTTPS. Okay, oh, sorry, I missed the HTTPS here. Sorry. So two, com three four four three. There you go. I got a certificate warning because it's using a self-signed certificate. So I'm just gonna go advanced and uh, log in, and I can you know do the same thing what I could do with the HTTP. Okay. Uh, you can also configure your own uh, if, if there's a certificate provider within your organization. You can use that as well. There are a lot of examples in the Juno's knowledge base that you can look up uh, to configure the HTTPS. But this just gives you a basic example how to easily configure uh, a Juno's device device with REST API uh, in a simple manner and just uh, you know gives the ability to automate a lot of Juno's tasks uh, with REST API. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.